Welcome to the Thunderbolts Picture of the Day review for the week of January 27, 2014. Links to the articles discussed may be found in the About section of this video. Monday, January 27. Black Flares Astrophysicists today point to countless electromagnetic events in space as indirect evidence of the existence of black holes. This includes radio astronomers' measurement of electric currents and cosmic jets. Picture of the Day managing editor Stephen Smith describes the efforts of black hole proponents to fit observations with black hole theory. Smith writes, Most astrophysicists try to explain narrow jets erupting from various sources by using words like nozzle or high pressure, contradicting the known behavior of gases in a vacuum. For example, according to a recent press release, flares have been discovered jetting from a source close to the center of our galaxy. Consensus opinion calls that source a black hole. On the Electric Universe interpretation of these so-called flares, Smith writes, There is no evidence that matter can be compressed to infinite density. Z-pinches in plasma filaments form plasmoids that become stars and galaxies. Electricity is responsible for star birth as well as death. When current density gets too high, double layers in the stellar circuit catastrophically release excess energy, appearing as gamma ray bursts, or X-rays, or thermal flares. We also note that mathematician Stephen Crothers has challenged the very theoretical underpinnings of black hole theory, a topic of a forthcoming Space News episode. As Crothers reminds us, no observations gave rise to the notion of a black hole in the first place, for which a theory had to be developed. The black hole was wholly spawned in the reverse, i.e. it was created by theory and observations subsequently misconstrued to legitimize the theory. Wednesday, January 29. Solar Bursts An unsolved mystery on the sun continues to haunt solar physicists today. How do charged particles from the sun sometimes reach the Earth at seemingly impossibly fast speeds? A typical coronal mass ejection might arrive at Earth in about 24 hours. However, in 2005, scientists around the world were astonished when the proton storm from a CME took less than 30 minutes to bombard the Earth's magnetosphere. This means that the charged particles from the CME arrived at Earth at faster than one quarter the speed of light, an unthinkable event in the standard model of the Sun. A NASA press release stated that the event had, quote, shaken the foundations of space weather theory. Stephen Smith explains why this phenomenon is not a mystery at all in the electric sun model. Rather than shock fronts or so-called magnetic reconnection events, the solar wind receives its impetus from an electric field that emanates from the sun in all directions. The easiest way for charged particles to accelerate is within such a field. The quote, mysterious acceleration of positively charged solar wind particles is an electrical phenomenon that is predicted by the electric sun model. Friday, January 31. Not so fast. For many decades, astronomers have relied on mechanical and kinetic actions to explain both the acceleration and confinement of material in space. Astronomers apply this reasoning to a recently imaged protostar described as a cosmic caterpillar in the constellation Cygnus. Astronomers say that so-called energetic winds blowing from stars along with ultraviolet radiation have created the knotted structure. But as Stephen Smith explains, this type of reasoning is wholly inappropriate to those familiar with plasma physics. Smith writes, Preferring to explain energetic emission of ultraviolet light in the expulsion of material jets as speedboat wakes, contrails, or smoke, astronomers miss important clues about what is responsible for both manifestations. Electricity. Since wakes, contrails, and smoke all tend to spread out and dissipate as they move away from the source, the tail streaming back from the knotted structure cannot be simply an exercise in kinetic physics. The tail is highly organized along its entire length into what appears to be a helix, indicating that it might be a Birkeland current. If astrophysicists recognized this simple fact, the glowing arms of spiral galaxies, for instance, would at last be seen as electromagnetic structures subject to electromagnetic forces. To read these articles in their entirety, visit the links in the About section of this video.
and stay tuned for a new Thunderbolts Pictures of the Day every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at thunderbolts.info.